Hi, I'm Mark Murphy and I'm here with Ryan Spire. And Ryan, you are with the Sendai Eagles, but you're from Virginia as a native and currently live in Texas. What brought you here to Sendai? Well, uh, <laughs> quite a long chain of events actually, but uh, the Cliff Notes version. I guess I had, uh, you know, a 10 year career in, in the major, in the, uh, you know, American baseball. And then uh, my time had finally run out there. And so it was time to move on to something new. And, and I had an opportunity out here. So just came out here for a tryout and uh, had a good tryout, made the team. And, you know. Well, it's interesting because you're here. At, you came in after the tsunami and signed with the team. So what has it been like to be here in this community, what's it like as an American here and watching this recovery effort and seeing how they've rallied around baseball? It's been it's been a really incredible experience for me. I'm you know I'm really proud to be a part of, of what we're doing, especially like opening day. It seemed like there was so much more at stake than just the the win or the loss on our record book. It was such an emotional victory because we felt like we had the whole town behind us. Um, so yeah, it's it's been a great experience. I'm really proud to be a part of what we're doing right now. Yeah, and part of it is like your background. You you were a guy that grinded it out. You grinded it out in the uh, in the minor leagues. You made it up to the major leagues, and you were actually there for a pretty surreal moment for the Colorado Rockies. What was that like? And what was that moment? Uh, well, when we clinched the the National League pennant in '07, um, you know, just just one of the best feelings in baseball you can have. I actually, remember meet, meeting uh, Matt Holliday, who's a pretty big guy, probably about six four, two fifty or so, and I met him at the cut of the outfield grass and. Uh, he was the first dude to jump into my arms, and I hoisted him up like he was a little kid. I was so excited. It, you know, it felt like he was a feather, but uh, yeah, it was a pretty surreal experience. What would you tell people that um, are watching the Japan uh, disaster back home in the States, and they're seeing a perspective that that's, paints a pretty bleak picture? Do you, do you see that here firsthand? What, what do you really see? Well, I, being, you know, right in the middle of the, the devastation, the first time I got off uh, an airplane in Sendai Airport was, you know, just, I was floored, really. Uh, you know, there's there's cars out in the middle of fields. You don't know, they, there were some kind of livestock or, or some kind of you know, cornfield before, but now there's nothing. And there's just cars sitting in the middle of the fields. There's boats out where they shouldn't be, you know, miles away from shore. And, um, you know, the, the media obviously paints a, a, a very uh, bleak picture in a, you know, it, it may be, you may be getting the very worst of things, but um, it, it's amazing how resilient these people are and how well um, they're recovering from it and, and just trying to keep every bit of normalcy that they can. Well, one of the ways to uh, keep that normalcy is what? You know, get, it, get behind the players, get behind the sport. And do you feel like the community has really rallied behind the Eagles here? I, I do, yeah. Even when we go on the road, it seems like we're – you know, everyone's rooting for their hometown team, but it seems like we're the team to pull for if they're not, you know, if their favorite team isn't, isn't in town or whoever, we're the, the next best thing, so. All right, well, we got Ryan Spire here from, uh, straight from Texas, on the road here in Sendai, living here. Uh, thanks for your perspective, Ryan. And for Ryan, I'm Mark Murphy. Thanks for watching.